Take us to the Felisa on Western Highway, near Chumash. Word of warning, we're on the job right now, so don't let the cops notice you. If they come after us, we call it off. Okay, we call it off. So, my taciturn friends, I suppose you want to know how we're doing this. Well, funny you should ask. We're driving out to the bank. Look at it! Taking a look at it, picking up some equipment, and then heading back to make our plans. Not very complex at all. We're not going in, we're not poking it with a stick. We're just sitting back and taking a look. You see, uh, I like my scores like I like my dates. Across the street and unaware they're being watched. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so why this bank over all the other banks in the state? Why does fortune favor this one? Mm -hmm. Another good question. You're full of good questions. You're like a child whose parents think it's clever, or the IRS. Or, well, this bank's got some safety deposit boxes, and in one of those safety deposit boxes are some bonds being hidden from the tax man that no one's gonna report missing. All starting to uh, make sense. Security should be light, well, relatively light. Light if your daydreams are raids on the Union Depository. Quite heavy if your day job is turning over liquor stores and gas stations. And the bonds in the box will be worth more than a few rumpled notes from a till, so the minor escalation is worth it, if you can handle it. Plus, you know, the sea view. <laughs> Nothing like staring at the ocean while you contemplate money and power, and incarceration and homicide. Yeah, all those weighty issues surrounding your first foray into serious armed robbery. I'm assuming you're kind of a cerebral crew, because otherwise this whole not-talking deal just kind of puts you on the spectrum, right? <laughs> okay, well, how about we just get there and see where we're at? There it is. Take a look. Drink it in. I've patched into their security feed on my cell. Take a look. Uh, what are we looking at? Um, small joint. Not much security. Staff won't give a crap. <laughs> Especially about the deposit boxes. Customers will probably be thinking uh, how to turn this into a screenplay. <laughs> the boxes are in the back behind a safe door. We want box number 167. Yeah, it's right on the highway with good access. That works for you get out quick, but it'll also work for the cops. Speed up their response time. Okay? Okay. We've seen what we're gonna see. Let's go to the garment factory. Now, when you hit the bank, you're gonna need to hack into its security system. I've written a neat little program that'll do most of the work for you, but it's probably a good idea for you to familiarize yourselves with it. You, in the passenger seat, I've sent it to your phone. Take it for a dry run, keep your hands steady, and maybe the wet run won't be a disaster. I'm calling Paige. She's my assistant. First she's gonna get us what we need, then she's gonna sell me in half. <laughs> no? Didn't like that one? Uh, you don't make it easy. Paige, it's Lester. The place looked good. Nothing we weren't expecting. Can you get the intel together? Hard copies to go on a notice board. Yeah, plus all the equipment we spoke about. I'll be over to collect it with uh, those people. Yeah. Mm, charming as ever. Okay, see you soon. She's loading the hardware into the back of a truck. Tools for the job, things for you to wear. On a job, your attire will depend on the role you're performing. As a job gets more complicated, so will the uniforms. If you're likely to be seen by civilians, you'll be provided with a couple of masks. Then, when you go into the bank, you can choose one that uh, goes with your eyes. 
And hey, there's the added bonus of none of your favorite comic convention outfits being linked to a major crime. <laughs> whoop de doo uh, Where were we? Ah, masks. Paige. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll go over there, pick her up, and go back to your place to plan this thing. I can talk you through the planning board later. That might be helped by a visual aid. The rest is pretty self-explanatory. Listen to me. Do what I say. Well, let's go in here, come out there. And if you're ever caught, you keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I couldn't resist. There's Paige. We're leaving this car, taking the truck. Ugh, I should be using my cane. Nice to meet you. It's back to the apartment. Is it all there? I think so. You want to get out and check? Go down the inventory? Or are you happy sitting there making a perfect butt imprint in your easy wipe seat? I'll take your word for it. Thank you. It should all be there. The clothes, guns, headsets, hold alls, masks, the drill, the files with all the photos and surveillance work. Hey, there's enough here to make us all look real suspicious. Nice little conspiracy to commit robbery charge waiting to happen. What, they're gonna charge us with thought crime? Not so much thought as everything but the deed crime. We'd be caught with our pants down and a hard-on out to here. Well, we're not getting caught. These are professionals. So I hear. The cheapest professionals money can buy. I like to think of it as investing in new talent. And until you and me start playing low-rent Bonnie and Clyde, that's the way it's gotta be. She didn't mean anything by that, by the way. Uh, she's just a little brusque. If they were offended, they would have said something. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Paige, we'll set up a board for you, won't you, Paige? <laughs> I'd let you do it if you could reach. I mean, I didn't see any milk crates for you to stand on. <laughs> mm-hmm. The uh, most important thing to look for in an employee is respect. You can't get anything done without respect. <laughs> Where was I? Uh, oh, yes, yes, uh, the room. Uh, Paige is setting up this board on which you will plan your scores. You'll use it to uh, set out all the prep work you need to do, select your crew, figure out how the take from a score should be split up. So you need a crew to take a score. But only one person can be in charge. Respect. Hmm? Isn't that right, Paige? Blow me. <laughs> All right, it's blow me. <clears throat> You're only gonna need uh, one thing for this, uh, for this job. It's a high-speed armored car. Now, instead of Getting one legitimately and leaving a nice long paper trail to your front door, you're gonna be jacking one from a nasty Korean crew and leaving a nice long paper trail to their door instead. <laughs> this is good to go. Hey, here's your board. Good, good, good. And when you're ready to move on the car, go over it, study the plan, tick it off the list. You must be methodical. This isn't just a dumb crime. Oh, there, there is an element of that, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> And when you've got the car, we'll come back here and talk bank jobs. <laughs> bank jobs, bank jobs. I woke last night to the sound of thunder. How far off I sat and wondered. Started humming a song from 1962. In a funny how the night moves. 
just don't seem to have as much to lose. Strange how the night moves. With autumn closing in.
to my garment factory. And try not to damage the car too much. You can't rob a bank in a wrecked car. sailing into the sunset. Of course, remember, if you're sailing into the sunset and you sail fast enough, the sun never sets. Of course, fast enough in that instance would be approximately 850 miles an hour, which would be a very fast yacht. You lucky, lucky person. You've got a sunset to chase. Go get it.
Ah, <laughs> your, uh, your first time. You know, the uh, first times, well, it's never easy. There won't exactly be uh, fireworks, you know? <laughs> it'll, be, uh, it'll be vaguely awkward and uh, disappointing, you know? You'll probably stick the wrong thing in the, the wrong part, and, and you'll finish too early, and, and you won't be able to, to make eye contact afterwards. But, uh, but new worlds will, will open up. <laughs> Something will have changed, you know? New uh, opportunities, uh, new risks. <laughs> And that's when you'll remember that old Uncle Lester was here for you, holding your hand, you know, guiding you through it. <laughs> and then you'll feel a little creeped out, but, but you're going to repress it. Squash it down. And we'll never talk about it. Okay? Okay? Hmm. Okay. First time. Lisa! Woo! <laughs> it's a two-man score, right? One of you drives, keeps the heat off of you. The other goes into the bank, goes to the specific safety deposit box. Then you get out of there, you get in that fast armored car, and you get the hell out of that place. Then once you're clean, once you got no heat on you, you come see me, give me the box, and you get paid. Hmm? Hey. Right. You know, uh, like I said, it is your first time, so uh, don't expect too much. There are uh, wild, insane, mind-blowing orgies in your future. <laughs> orgies! <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we all gotta start somewhere. <laughs> Good luck!
that hacking program. When you get in the car, you need to get on it and start breaking into their system.
Show it to me. Mm, yes, it is the holiday season at the Crest Residence, and Daddy's out drinking. <laughs> Say, you passed. Uh, if that thing I talked about comes up, I'll call you in. In the meantime, if anyone comes to me, I'll mention you as a reliable pair of hands. Hey, for the first time, that wasn't bad. But don't get clingy. Carrying a bunch of sweet nothings in my pocket for a little pick me up. 